In this lesson, we will copy and paste our windows from our uh, main floor up to our second floor and add some skylights to the roof over our garage here. So I'm going to go to the main floor. And I think it's safe for me to just do a big window box here. Use my filter tool. Check none. Grab only the windows. Hit OK. Do a Control C on the clipboard or on the keyboard, which is copy here. Then I'm going to go up to the second floor and I'm going to say paste to current view. It's going to add them there. Go to my 3D view. And windows have all been adjusted. Now you can go in and yourself and fine tune those. Um, now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick on here. I'm using my control button. No. Start again. Escape, escape, control, click, control, click, control, click, control. You see the little plus sign when I use the control key? No, that's giving me a pain in the butt. Um, I'm going to copy and paste up those curtain walls. So what I guess I'll do is this. I'll do a window box like this. Filter. Check none. Curtain panel. Curtain wall grid. Curtain wall mullions. Curtain wall. And no, you see, because they are technically walls as well. So I'm going to hover, click. Control button, click. Here we go. Click, control, using my control. 3D view isn't good because it keeps grabbing the mullions and everything. Using my control button with the plus. So using my control key and selecting, it looks like it's gotten all the same type of object. Control C on the keyboard, copy it to the clipboard. Up to the second floor, paste to current view. Should do across the front. Click out, go to my 3D view. And there's my um, front elevation with my new um, second floor windows. And now let's add some skylights. Um, let's do this from, from our 3D view, but let's do it from the top point, okay? Zoom over here, and um, it's a, technically the skylight is a window. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go to Windows. I loaded it up, and it's called Skylight. And the biggest one is 11 by 17. I'm going to duplicate that. And again, I'm going to use my Imperial and say 4 feet by, uh, let's say, 8 feet. Big skylights. Okay, so width is 4 feet. Length is 8 feet, which is that in millimeters. Hit OK. So I've made a new skylight, and I'm going to place them. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Now watch. I'm going to use my dimension and dimension from here. Oh, I probably need to do this from the roof plan. And I'm going to go dimension from the grid line. Um, no, let's get our two outside ones. Escape, escape. Now, can I see that? That's the roof. Tab, grab that skylight. Tab to grab it. You know what? I'm going to go to the site plan. Double click. There we go. Now a bad review. Pick on that and adjust it. Pick on this one. Adjust it. Now I'm going to use my align tool and say align using this edge. Multiple. Okay. This guy. This guy. And ah, I missed it. Start again. Click out. I got the wrong edge. Pick on here, the outside, to outside. There we go. Now I'm going to do a little dimension from the center to these guys. Click out, make it equal. Escape, escape. Now, again, I can click on here, delete this. It was only a functional dimension. 
Now I can grab these guys using my control button. Oops, keeps grabbing the roof. Click, you have to hover using my control button on the keyboard. Mirror, you see this coming. By the ridge, click out. Back to my nice 3D view. Okay, so now I've got my building with my second floor curtain walls and windows and partitions and my skylights and my cover sheet is ever growing and representing all that true uh, information.